we're going to move on to England. But my mum got sick again. She had cancer before and she, she got better, but this time she. Oh, God. I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. You, you can talk to professionals about this. No, it's, I don't yeah. want to tell anyone else. I just want to tell you. Kevin? Brandon? Look, I'm sorry about that. I wanted to speak to you in private before you left. It's okay. We're in private now. Well, look, your taxi should be here soon, but after what you said to me, I, I just wanted to make sure that you'd be okay. I want to say thanks. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be in there. Don't want you to think I'm some kind of monster. Look, I'm not here to judge anyone, Brandon. I'm, I'm just trying to do my job. I don't want to rape anyone. I want to be raped. See you around, Kevin. Yeah, see you around, Brandon. Good luck with everything. Have you been acting on these thoughts, Kevin? Tell me. Look, I don't really want to talk about it. I just want to know what I can do to fix it. I've tried everything, like, I've tried praying, I've tried taking testosterone, I've tried dating women. Look, I'll do anything at this stage. Can I suggest an, an experiment, a form of exposure therapy? Okay. I believe that if you were less curious about the male body, you would be less fixated on same-sex attractions. I suggest we both undress in order that you can feel more familiar. It, it has helped many of my clients. Pastor, I, I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> 